Hello there, yes, I thought today we'd just do a little bit of a fact-checking exercise with everyone's favourite blokes in Weatherspoons pub bores, Mike and Kevin. Um, yeah, I just thought this would be instructive because we can really see where Talk TV is getting its money's worth from the highly paid guys in front of you. It's the type of analysis you just wouldn't get anywhere outside of a Weatherspoons anywhere after 11 o'clock in the, in the evening. Any, anyway, leaving that aside, let's move on. <clears throat> Rishi, like Boris before him, uh, and certainly like Theresa May, uh, they've been absolutely useless on the migrant crisis. Yeah. Absolutely, Hopeless. pathetically ineffective. Uh, Theresa May, because she, as she's proving right now, she wanted every single migrant to actually come here and let them stay. Yes. Uh, useless, and wet. And doesn't want to uh, allow them to become yeah. enslaved yeah, in Yeah, the, 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 the worst Prime Minister we've ever had, and in that list I include uh, the very brief Liz Truss, uh, and uh, then Boris, who just took the metropolitan view, oh, well, you know, down on the south coast, yes. I, 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 right. I live in London. It's wonderful know. to have a lot of uh, yeah. multiculturalism yeah. in the country, that's what we're going for. Well, he, he's more, more to the point, he's in the Garrett Club, he doesn't care, Doesn't didn't think about it, didn't think it was a big deal. Right. I remember, it was a couple of years back, it was a terrible November, uh, towards the end of a November, and suddenly, I think it was 29 poor migrants drowned in yes. the channel, and suddenly... Boris Johnson woke up mm. and thought, hang on, we've got a problem here. Right. So that was when the Tories actually started to try to confront the mm. migrant crisis. They're still trying to do it now, and it's still a disaster. And overnight we're being told that they've now got this migrant bill through, yes. which will make absolutely no difference at all. Well, uh, uh, exa exactly right. I mean, you know, they've had this long ping-pong game with the House of Lords, between the House of Commons and the House of Lords, as the Lords, the stupid, ludicrous Lords, the wet, lefty bunch of ermine-clad clots in the upper house <laughs> who we should get rid of. We should. That's what the Tories should have a vote on. Let's yeah. get rid of these lefty lords. Anyway, uh, the lords have uh, stuck their oar in. They kept saying, no, 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 you've got to let all the women in, you've got to let all the children in, you've got to let yeah. all the LGBT That's four, in. then. Oh, don't send anyone. But yeah, you've <laughs> got to let all the women yeah, in. Uh, you, you, you yeah. and you. How Come many on. women came across yeah. with children last year? Twelve. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> How many men? 400,000. <laughs> 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 I mean, there is some truth to that. But here's the thing. Uh, the Migrants Bill, which has now been passed yeah. through the House of Commons and the House of Lords, yeah. it has gone through the mother of all parliaments, and it will do absolutely the square root of sweet F.A. Well, because because they won't be able to send people home uh, if they uh, find out that they can't actually qualify for asylum. Yes. Because they have no agreements with any third countries. Yeah. They won't send them back to France because France won't have them. So where are they supposed to go? They're just going to sit here uh, and wait for the next time they get to apply. Yeah. And then by about the fifth time they apply, they'll get asylum. Yeah, this is always the elephant in the room yeah. of this discussion. Uh, you know, uh, mindless politician after mindless politician sits there on the chair and say, well, we have to, to get a better arrangement with France. We've got to negotiate with France. Yes. We've got to get France to do more. That's Labour's line. We can't, you know, get France to do more, as if Rishi has never thought of trying to get well, France. We've already but given they, them hundreds the of millions point, of pounds, the, haven't we? But the elephant in the room is that, that so cooperative is France that it has never agreed to a return arrangement. Right. So we are not allowed to send any migrants back to France right. whence they came, right. from where they came, because France has not agreed to it. Right. It's as simple and as that. And neither has any other country. And neither has any other country. So these... This government saying, oh, we've passed the illegal migration bill and now we'll be able to send migrants back. Back no. to where? According to uh, people who have looked at all of the legalities here, as it stands, it is unclear what will happen to people coming to the UK on small boats in the coming months. The bill places a legal duty on the government to detain and remove those arriving in the UK illegally. However, uh, there are no return deals with any countries apart from Rwanda. Sure. And we haven't sent... How many people have we sent to Rwanda, remind me? Oh, hang on, hang on. One, uh, two, big three, fat zero. Four. Oh, none. Yeah. Big fat zero. Yeah. And uh, that's because Rishi, because he loves a globalist club, refuses to leave the European Convention on Human Rights. Yes. And so even if we ever do try to take a plane off to go to East Africa, uh, it will be grounded by uh, the Boers in Strasbourg yeah. and Brussels. So right. it's as simple as that. So... 
this illegal migrants bill, which uh, Robert Generic, Robert Generic as he's known as, <laughs> the immigration minister says, you know, failure's not an option. Hey, Robert, you've already, option. You, you've already, you've already <laughs> failed, option. you are failing, yeah. and you will fail. But this there is, bill will, not achieve, no. will achieve the square root of zero. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Anyway, you can see where, uh, <laughs> where all the money at Talk TV goes. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you, like I, feel you've lost quite a few brain cells merely watching that. Yes, anyway, it's good to know that these people, who are paid a vast amount of money by a non-dom billionaire to spout exactly what he wants, are doing their job so well. Yeah. Anyway, if you want some detailed analysis, I would suggest that you just go to your local and chat to anybody. I think you might come up with something that's a little bit more highbrow. Have a lovely day.